Stock op is simply stock photography plus Oppenheim equals the name stock op. Uh, it was a very creative period, both for myself and in general, and I feel that the spirit of those times are captured in my photography. Yeah, um, I call them environmental portraits where people are in a situation in the city, maybe not even in a city, in an environment. And I like to see how the tension of being in an environment affects the person and also affects me as the photographer and the result is a very dynamic photograph which you can see. Yeah, there's a gallery on the uh, website called Misc and Match and it's kind of on the experimental end and the uh, best thing to do is show it to you. This is another one of my favorite things to do with my photography. It allows me to go to concerts of musicians that I really like and to interpret by the use of their music and my photography what I observe when I'm at the concert. In my student days, I would take photographs of models in exchange for prints that I would give them. One of the results is a print that was published in Rolling Stone in a very important time in 1972. For Rolling Stone, I had the privilege of working with Annie Leibovitz. Yes, that Annie Leibovitz, the photographer who was the photo editor of Rolling Stone when she chose my photograph for the inside cover. This magazine issue is very important because it actually appeared in the title sequence of Almost Famous. Thank you for learning about StockUp.com. You can visit us on the web at StockUp.com and you can visit with us also at Twitter and Facebook. Till next time.